Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nello here as usual and today I have a chit chat get ready with me with you guys. I have a lot to chat about actually. So I'm going to be discussing all that in this video. But before we go ahead and start, I want to show you guys the hair I'm going to be using in this video. You guys already know this hair because I did like, I won't say a review, it's more like a first impression on this hair. This um, body wave from Mega Look and this is the hair right here. I've had the hair now for over a month, definitely. And like you guys, when I say that this hair does not tangle, it does not tangle. I've never experienced any form of tangling with the hair. This is the back of the hair. Wait, hold on. This is the back of the hair. There is like literally nothing. Once you run your hand through, it just goes so smoothly. The hair, I mean, I've not had any problem with it. The quality is just really, really good. And this has been my go-to wig to wear just because i mean the color is very neutral and um it's just easy to maintain to be honest so let me go ahead and put it on you guys already know how i wear my wig there's no wig cap there's nothing i just literally put on my wig and that's why i like closures i prefer closures to frontals because closure is very very low maintenance to be honest frontal is high maintenance and your girl does not like high maintenance <laughs> i don't like high maintenance i feel like my nose is becoming very big right now but hopefully by the time we'll contour and snatch this face it's going to look bearable but yes this is what the hair looks like and um, for today's video the last time i wore this hair i think i just wore it like this i coiled it a little bit but today i want to really give it like um bigger uh, what's it called coil it's not really big coils but like coil it off my face to make it like have a different look so i'm going to go ahead and do that now guys i just coiled the front see i'm a very lazy i'm a very lazy person to be honest i didn't really coil the back but i mean for my pictures and everything it's usually front but i've not brushed it out yet so i want the coils to loosen a little bit just because i don't really like tight coils but yeah by the time i'm brushing it out it will be a little bit loose and then i can just brush that i didn't make the coils very tight but anyways let me go on and do my makeup and start the cheat chat okay so please stay tuned okay so the first thing uh the first thing i wanted to address you guys already know that this is like this is a makeup tutorial is a chit chat video so yeah i'm just going to be doing my makeup without like talking too much about the makeup i'm doing but anyways um the first thing i want to discuss is is my collaborations i don't know if you guys can remember from a few months back when i said you know i was going to start collaborating with some youtubers mostly like people that are a bit upcoming that were more upcoming than me because i am still upcoming but people that are a bit up more upcoming than me people that need the views more than i do just to help some people get to their um, 4,000 views targets and um, 1,000 uh, you guys I'm sorry if you're hearing noises um, I'm filming in front of the window as usual so anyways and get to their um, what's it called um, <laughs> 1,000 subscriber mark so that they'll be able to monetize or just generally people trying to grow their channel to be honest people that I can help grow their channel because as I am I still need people to help me grow my own channel but at least this is just something I'm doing to help the people that I'm a bit better than grow their channel. And then once I started, I think I did a few, maybe three or four. And then I think after the first one or so, second one, I think after the first one, I can't even remember. Or well, around the time I made that video, I found out I was pregnant and I was still okay at first. But then um, after a while, the pregnancy symptoms really, really hit me bad and i just couldn't continue you know i was like it really i felt bad but 
there was nothing I could do about it, to be honest, because I'll set a date with people. I'll be like, okay, we'll f I'll film it today so that I'll be able to upload it tomorrow, and then I'll get sick, and I won't be able to film. And then I'll tell them next week. And then I just kept moving it, and I just felt bad because it wasn't fair on their side. So I just totally cancelled it, and I was just like, there's no rush. When I feel better, um, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to go back to doing it, which is why I'm talking about it again now, because I'm beginning to beginning to feel better. I mean, I, I know I can't feel 100% myself with this pregnancy, obviously, um, but I mean, I'm beginning to feel a whole lot better than I felt those first few weeks, like during my first trimester. So I'm going to go back to the collaboration. But, pe okay, I already have some people on the line, actually. There's one girl, her name is Sabena, I believe. Um, hi, if you're watching this video. She even went so far as filming her own part, but I couldn't feel my own. Like, I was just sick. I couldn't tell her, but I was just sick. And I just couldn't get myself to sit down and actually film. I tried to vlog. I think I put out a lot more vlogs that period because vlogging is a bit easier i don't have to get ready and sit down in front of the camera to vlog i just literally vlog my life so it was a bit easier for me to do that period so um i think i'm going to start off with her and then carry on and you guys i can't be doing um too much of um collaborations like it's my videos can be back-to-back -back collaborations because a lot of people on this channel for my vlogs and a lot of other things so i'm going to be mixing it up so i don't know how many people i'll get to in a month but maybe two i don't know but i'll just try i'll just try i'll just keep trying it's not like i plan to end it anytime soon i genuinely love collaborations i mean ugh, i just love collaborations so um yeah i'm just going to start doing it again and another thing i wanted to say is you guys please i i got some messages from you know some people and when i went to their channel to to like you know see their channel and what their channel is about because i always tell them okay i'll check out your channel and see what we can do together and then when i go to their channel i just find out that from their channel you can just tell that this person does not put in any effort whatsoever by any effort i mean their videos are just scattered there's no really you can't really say what their channel is about their quality is so poor and I mean I'm not saying you have to start with the best equipment or anything but you know like just something good enough for people to watch because it's I can come here and you know talk about your channel tell people to follow you and then those people will still go to your channel and um, won't follow you because they don't like the quality of the videos you put out or just something so you have to do your own part while I do my own part in the sense that you know no, oh, sorry guys yeah as I was saying yes yeah, I was saying you kind of have to do your own part while I do my own part you know you have to yeah just just putting effort into your videos like when it comes to this YouTube here yeah, there's different types of video categories on YouTube there is helpful videos like tutorials or just even like um, get ready with me can be helpful in the sense that it depends on what you're talking about in the video you know it can be just a sit down um a story time video just talking about your experience and someone can learn something from your own experience and then it can be entertainment purely entertainment that people don't have to learn anything from your video but they are entertained you know the, the watching your video is entertainment to them so there are just so many types of videos but then um so there's still things like learning how to cook learn how to do this yeah, which all falls under um tutorial but when i come to your channel and it's just like i'm not getting anything out of this channel i'm not entertained i'm not glued to your channel your quality is really bad listening to you it's really annoying i'm sorry you guys but i have to be sincere i still message some people and tell them this and just tell them ways to improve their channel in fact i get some people that message me and be like please check out my channel and tell me how i can improve i use like i used to be that person i used to do this i used to watch other people's video and be like why are they sounding better than me what are they doing different why is it like my sound is not the best i know that i record this voice people are listening to i'm recording it with my phone like i, I don't use the voice that comes from a camera because it's a bit too noisy you hear a lot of background noises so i'm like right here my phone is let me show you guys is literally right here yeah, but you can see it's recording and i just dropped it on 
uh, something I have here so that if I show you people what is here, if I'm going to laugh, let me not just show you people. You know what? Hold on a second. Just so you see what I have to go through to get the quality that I want. It's not the best, but it's it's enough for now, I guess. I'm trying to, um, what's it called, improve. I just actually bought a new camera, a new mic, um, a new lens and all that good stuff. My husband is currently not in Nigeria, so he's coming back with it and I'm so happy. I bought him my money, by the way. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at myself, but yes, I did. Um, <laughs> because my I'm used to my husband buying me all my equipment and stuff. I'm a bit spoiled. But yes, this is a fan here, guys. This is a fan and like a bed sheet, a pillowcase or something. And my phone is on top. So this, the voice you're hearing now, the sound is coming from here. You see what I did there? That is how I get... Like, it's not even a perfect sound, but like an okay sound. So all I'm trying to say is that you have to put in effort. You can't use the, I can't come and use the excuse of, oh, I don't have a mic. And then be recording one crappy sound. And it, it will drive people away, to be honest. When I watch some people's videos, whether big or small, and their sound is just all over the place. I'm not, I don't want to watch the video anymore. I don't know. I just click out of the video. And that's the fact. That's how... You know this youtube thing works so you have to do your own part while i do my own part and you know trying to help you grow your channel i wish someone had actually come to me and, and help me grow my own channel because i really 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 need growing somebody if you're watching this and you're bigger than me please come and collaborate with me let me grow my own channel too but yes um I can't wait to you guys i can't wait to continue collaboration and i can't actually wait to test out my new camera and my lens and everything a plane is passing you people i'm sorry this video is going to be a bit noisy but i tried i tried okay as i was saying don't worry Uchi. i can't wait to try my new camera my lens and everything that i bought i bought okay i actually did buy a new lens i've actually had a really really good lens for the longest time but it couldn't fit this small camera the camera i bought is still quite small because i wanted because of this camera i'm using now canon g7x uh, mark ii i've had it for two years now and it's quite small it's a vlog camera but not i, I vlog with it and i film sit down videos with it and it has saved me for for two years so i'm just like i wanted to get the atd but i'm just like what's the point and considering the fact that atd came out in 2016 please there's been a lot of updates since then so i ended up buying the m50 it's quite small but the good thing is um it's it has um, a, a space for mic and the quality is way better than canon atd i had to do a lot of research on youtube to find that out it's a whole lot better because the camera just came out last year and ATD came out, and what's it called? It's not three years ago, so the, obviously the difference is clear. And then, um, you know, I can use my lens on it. I bought a lens adapter as well. And you guys, these things are not cheap, okay? They are not cheap, but it's worth it. But it's not like I started with, with that. And I can't wait to film my first video with it. It records in 4K as well. I'm, ju I'm just excited. I'm excited to upgrade. You know sometimes when you've used one thing for too long you just you just want to do better okay so i'm just happy to do better i feel like i've talked too much about cameras and youtube and all that so let's switch the story okay one minute so i don't even know what i'm doing to my eyes today but i just want something very very simple because um you guys know i don't know if you know if you watch diana or i think i mentioned in my last two videos or so um, I'm planning Diana's baby shower. I'm so excited about that. So I have to go and buy a few things um, right after I film this video. So it's not like I'm doing something very like serious. Let me not say important because it's quite important, but it's not very serious. So I don't want to have like a serious makeup on. But yeah, I'm just going to use a very, very light eyeshadow on my face. I'm talking about baby showers, you guys. If you follow my Instagram, please, if you don't follow my Instagram, can you please follow me on Instagram? I keep begging you guys to follow me on Instagram, okay? I'm going to put my handle somewhere on the screen. It's always, it always pops up in all my videos. I always make it pop up so that people can follow me. Please, please, please follow me on Instagram. But yes, um, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I went to check the gender of my baby on my husband's birthday, which was last week, like a week ago and um yeah the doctor saw a particular gender i can't tell you guys obviously because I, i'm not even sure one and two 
there's going to be a gender reveal vlog i guess but um yeah the doctor saw a particular gender but she wasn't very sure about the gender she saw she actually said she's 80% sure but 80% is not 100% and I don't want to go ahead and tell people but like I have not even told my close family members because I don't want to, a situation where I'll tell people okay I'm having a boy and then the baby become, baby turns out to be a girl or I say I'm having a girl and the baby turns out to be a boy both ways I just don't want to go through that because if you follow me long enough you already know that we went through that with Kaito because at first we thought Kaito was a boy no at first we thought kaito was a girl so imagine our shock <laughs> when we later found out kaito was a boy oh my god i cried i won't even lie you guys i cried like a baby okay i really 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 cried so i just don't want to go through that anymore you know and even though she has told me what she thinks i just i'm not i've not really put my mind there because i'm just like this can change when I go back. She was like, she's 80% sure, but 80% is just not 100%. And I was reading on forums, people that they told, oh, 80% sure is a girl, and then it turns out to be a boy, or 80% sure is a boy, and then it turns out to be a girl. Because sometimes they can see the the cord, umbilical cord, and think, you know, is the boy part, and tell you you're having a boy. Or whereas the baby will not just stay well, and they won't see anything, and they tell you you're having a girl, and then you have your baby and it's the other <laughs> opposite sex basically so i don't want to just go through that so right now i'm just waiting i wanted to go back this week to check but my husband is currently not around and he really wants to go with me we went together the last time and he really really wants to go with me he doesn't want me to be the one to tell him the gender of the baby he actually wants to be there where we find out so i'm going to wait for him he comes back on sunday and um i'm going to meet him in lagos actually because i have something to do in lagos on monday i'm going to i'm going to lagos on sunday then i'll stay with him and we'll both come back together sometime during the week we've not really bought our tickets yet so I don't know when we'll be coming back but yes it's when we get back that we'll now go and check for the gender of the baby and i so can't wait you guys i'm so impatient about this whole gender thing i just want to know if it's a boy let me just know now and cry now and just get it over with then if it's a girl let me just start being happy start adding things to my cart and just start being excited okay and i've been seeing all your prayers and all your love you guys i feel so loved and I don't know people even send me voice notes literally praying for me it's just it's amazing i just feel like this youtube is a whole family that i don't know about i really hope that one day i'll be able to do a meet and greet somewhere just to get to know some of you that actually watch me i mean i i just just thank you i really 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 genuinely feel so loved and just you guys thank you so much a lot of you know that i really want a girl so all of you have been praying for me to you know to have a girl and it just means a lot to be honest it just means a lot that i just have this family that love me so much even though there's nothing special about me i mean i'm just here with me i'm not doing anything special and, I, and people still love me that way so it's just crazy to know seriously speaking all i can say is thank you thank you for your support i really really appreciate it and i don't know hopefully one day i'll find a way to actually give back like I don't know, I don't know, just hopefully one day I find a way to give back as much as I feel like I've gotten from you guys, if you get what I mean. You know, might not be capable to do that now, but hopefully one day in future. But yeah, you guys, thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate. So guys, I just went ahead and finished my makeup off camera and this is what I look like now. I'm so loving this look. It's so neutral, like neutral colors, not like it's neutral face, but neutral colors. And this is the hair. And like I said before, I've had this hair now for over a month. And in that month, I probably worn this hair like two weeks straight. Not every single day of two weeks, but like within the month, I've worn it two weeks. And I've really not had any problem with this hair, to be honest. Because some of you still message me, oh, you've had this hair now for a while. What do you think about the hair? And my honest opinion is, is good good is good um value for your money okay all these nigerian vendors they go to all these countries and buy this hair even cheaper than we buy it because they are buying wholesale and come back here and be selling 100k to us 
when you can go to their website and with 30,000 to 40k you bag yourself really really good nice hair like this and this one is quite long so if you want my advice just go to aliexpress and get yourself good quality hair to be honest it's the same thing they buy and oversell for us here so anyways i love 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 this look and this hair they just go so well i feel like i need to do more things today apart from going shopping for diana's baby shower i feel like i need to do more i don't know i say this every day and i end up doing nothing but i still have school runs that's if this makeup will last on my face till then but anyways i'm going to put the link to this hair in the description box down below and also i have their bob and some of you actually like that bob it's from the same company mega look i'm going to put the link to that one also in my description box hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe like share you guys already know the drill and if you've been through this experience of some like just talk telling you that your baby is 80% boy or 80% girl. Can you let me know what your experience was like? What did it, what did the baby turn out to be? Like when they said 80% 80, 80 boy, did it turn out to be a boy? And when they said 80% girl, did it turn out to be a girl? Or, you know, or was it the opposite of what they said? Because I'm really, really, really curious and I can't wait to find out. I'm finding out in a week and I just can't wait. But in the meantime, please share your experiences with me and hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.